Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and once again, we return to the Ring of Iron in orbit around Mars. Almost finished with this uh, Thunderhawk. 79%. Oh yes, it's looking much better now. I believe last time we had cleaned off the top of that uh, attack wing just there. Uh, more stairs. Yes, good, I did. So I was going to uh, lift that up. So we could get at the underside. And, uh, things should continue from there. Shout out to Justin Jones to start things off. He says, uh, the Tyranids definitely have a highly sophisticated and calculating mind. And for the record, I didn't mean to imply that they were just dumb bugs, but, you know, just that I've never heard them speak to anyone. Uh, in fact, one might argue that it, their collective conscious, sur uh, consciousness, surpasses anything within real space. The issue is, why would the Tyranids want to communicate with their food? <laughs> oh boy, it's a good way of putting it. As some supporting evidence, take the Swarm Lord. During the battle from a Krog, the Tyranid hive mind realized that it needed something on par with uh, Chapter Master Marnius Kalgar. So they formed a, a Swarm Lord. A Swarm Lord is what the Tyranids create when they are facing a particularly strategically minded foe. The Swarm Lord was able to outfox a Space Marine Chapter Master. Think about that for a moment, and the implications are positively terrifying. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a really ominous, actually. I think that astropaths are able to catch glimpses of the Tyranid hive mind. It's an effect called the Shadow in the Warp that nullifies astropathic communication. When an astropath tries to send a message, they have horrific visions involving the Tyranids. I hypothesize that the Shadow in the Warp isn't a deliberate form of attack by the Tyranid hive mind, rather it is a byproduct of their presence. That is... I have actually heard of this, that the moment the, uh, the swarm arrives in orbit around a planet, suddenly all com long-range communications shut down. We can't even call for help. Uh, I bet Korn's domain within warp space is full of wall meat. Actually, I'd assume that wall meat is kind of a shared feature between all the domains. Different flavors, yes, that was a deliberate word choice, are for different gods. Korn, for example, would have bloody wall meat, or as Zinch might have wall meat covered in eyes. I'll leave your imagination for the Slanesh and Nurgle variant, to which I can only thank you. Oh no. <laughs> big deal. <laughs> Just jumped, like, 40 feet. Oh, yes. Excellent! Okay, I didn't get all of it, but still. Ooh, that's a big chunk. Good, good, good. Private Balk. Unauthorized comm data recording battle of withheld strategic ace to bear B-785. I don't think this guy's supposed to be communicating with me. I mean, it says unauthorized right there. This is Private Balk of the Penal Legions, reporting for duty. Is this the same guy as before? I see the situation requires someone with scant regard for self-preservation. I've 
commandeered Commissar Franz's Rogel Dorn tank, and I intend to deliver it straight into that sniveling... Redacted heretical. Oh boy. So the tank I worked very hard on is about to get blown up. Impact in five seconds. Mark my final words. You have my complete attention. Redacted. Irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Well, rest in peace, Private Balk. Boink! Oh, let's go straight up here. Nice. I don't even know how I'm walking like this, with this crazy angle here. Oh, wait! I've probably got magnetic feet or something. <laughs> oh, this is an awkward one. Can't do diagonals. Okay, great, there is room over here. Get the extension off. Oh, right, yeah, there's another side. Shit. Where's my ladder? There it is. Uh, yeah. I should stand on top of the engine and do that. Nice and slow. Ooh, that is satisfying. Done. It's made it go down to uh, go up two percent. That's awesome. This is one very dirty win. Took me a moment to remember how crouching worked. I am under it. Why can't I do that? Oh, it doesn't work, even though it does say lift attack wing on the thing at the bottom. Oh, fuck. Underneath. I didn't think of the crannies underneath. Yeah, these are mountings. These are not the actual wings, so I don't need to get those just yet. Aha! I found out one of the reasons some people think the, uh, Alpha Legion are, like, secretly, uh, like, <laughs> deep cover loyalists is because one of the things they're known to yell as they run into battle is, For the Emperor. Although, uh, you ask any random citizen of the Imperium what they think that means, and you'll probably get a different answer about whether or not it's, uh, sarcastic, uh, secret allegiance, or, uh, referring to some other entity entirely. Uh, 
Ah, gotcha. That feels good. Let's get into those uh, corners over here. Start with these mountings, yeah. I was just looking at. Your patience has been rewarded. drive that thing into a tank or a monster or something. I wouldn't have worked so hard in the, uh, the tank. I do appreciate sticking it to Commissar Franz, though. Oh. I jumped into the, sp to the spot where there was a gap. Could I have slipped through here? No, I'm far too wide for that. Yes, this part. I hated this. I have to get in this little crack here. Power nozzle, do your thing. changing angles and carefully scraping away. Seriously, the wing fits into a socket. How am I supposed to clean the inside of the socket? Fucking hinge, too. It's like the size of my entire torso and actually wider. Well, that's both of them. Excellent. Oh! Maybe that's the trick. I gotta get it while it's actually. Okay, okay. You go back in. Or down. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit it up, and as it's moving, I'm gonna. Scr uh, just strafe over and start spraying. Oh, well, I can get that at least. I didn't actually see how well it did. helped last time, discovering right at the end that I could get a fit under here and get a better view of this part, but there's still more bits up there I haven't gotten yet. Hmm. And is this box here also? Yes, yes it is. A 
while back, you would see things about, uh, just a generic format of, uh, video people would make on YouTube, which was like, Could popular fictional characters survive in the 40k universe? And I never watched any of them, of course, out of principle. I don't like videos with questions in the title, to be perfectly honest, because I was taught once upon a time that if a video's title ends in a question, the answer is always either no or yes, but no one would ever want to. You know, I.E. can you beat Fallout without, uh, with only a stick or whatever. We're gonna go clubbing everyone. Instead of using any of the cool weapons. <laughs> But, um, you know, then it's not, you know, that I would disagree with these things. Like, if you told me that the Master Chief wouldn't cut it here, I wouldn't be happy about it. You know, be kind of disappointed. But, yeah, I would get it. This is a really, really messed up and hardcore universe. You know, Halo was designed to a completely different set of, uh, standards. But, uh, I do remember hearing that exactly one of those at an uh, ending that the, uh, general audience is not expecting. Doom Guy. Specifically based on the one from, uh, Doom 2016 and, uh, Doom Eternal. <laughs> they determined that not only would Doom Guy uh, survive in the 40k universe, unlike every other character they'd ever looked at, he would fucking thrive. Because you know, it's not exactly clear how, you know, the demons of the Doom compare to, uh... Let me just get on there. Compared to the, uh, the creatures of this universe, but, uh... That dude's fucking unstoppable. And you know what? A hell of a lot of the of the, the the bad things in this universe are in fact demons. Here we go attack wing mounts. For fuck's sake, man! The same trick works even better with, uh, articles, incidentally, because the answer is always no if it ends in a question, you know. Could this be the end of gaming as we know it? No. Could, uh, you know, is this the last we'll hear of the Mario franchise? No, of course not. You know, it's, it's like that kind of thing. I just don't like the way that looks. Let's see, I did that. I was going to get the bits here at the back that I skipped before, so I guess I'll just go over that way. Hwah! Probably shouldn't land on the exposed portions of the engine now that I think about it. Crush something. I mean, they have delicate parts just because it's not a uh, delicate universe. Yeah. That'll help. Don't worry, I will turn around to get the uh, angles I'm not seeing when I get to the end here. Oh man, I loved watching that uh, meter fall as fast as it did. Oh. It should have been all three of them. Ah! There. No? Actually, yeah. Ooh, 
That was good. Let's see. Before we go, since the timer is about to go. Shout out to Yornik, everyone's friend, who says, Sons of Horus, eh? More like Sons of Whores, am I right? <laughs> and of proper music sure exists, thanks to chaos, of course. I mean, there's no jazz like Zinchian jazz. To Zazz? Real thinking person's music. <laughs> oh no. I'm just imagining Zinch just like sitting on his throne, just calculating his schemes, and you're just listening to smooth jazz in the background. I mean, let's face it, if you're one of Zinch's you know, high priests or demons or whatever, are you going to argue with him? <laughs> and there goes the timer there. Ah, uh, fuck. Just as well. Let me see what happens when I highlight the rear armor. Which section is that? Oh, there's four of them. Okay, they're at least separated, so I can... So yeah, I do have things to focus on here. Because we got this one, uh, and the other... You get the bottom ones first, and then I'll focus on the ones above that. But that'll be next time. Sounds like this ship has already had a really crazy mission lately. When we're done, it's going to be ready to get back out into the field and bring the fight to the enemies of the Imperium. So I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time on Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Until then, I do believe it's about time for my uh, daily absolution, so I shall see you then. Later!